Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to answer a question that came to us from our tech support line about how to get a bolted connection fastener, in this case a socket head cap screw, to fit more deeply into a counterbore. Maybe the fastener is too close to the top surface or not embedded deeply enough. Uh, that's what we'll tackle in this video. A previous video, we took a look at the same scenario and we solved it using whole presets. In this video, though, we're going to take a look at editing the Excel spreadsheets within Inventor. But just to highlight this scenario, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do a half section view of the XY plane. And just to further kind of flesh this out, what we want is we want the top of this fastener to be more embedded into the counterbore hole. So that is controlled using this top plate there's a couple plates one with the clearance hole this one has the counter bore using the hole feature so if we edit the hole feature we'll just explain the scenario so when we choose a specific fastener and a specific size all this data down here gets pre-populated depending on the options that you choose up here all of this information comes from an excel spreadsheet that is installed with your Inventor software. And you can manipulate that, add your own tabs for different type of fasteners like Acme or square threading, or you can modify the values to be more in line with your company standard. So to locate that spreadsheet, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel, and I'm gonna go up to the file tab, go to the manage, and you need to look at your projects. So the projects tool has a folder down here in folder options for your design data. This is where that spreadsheet is going to live. And I'll navigate to the exact location, but it's gonna be in your design data. So if it's out of the box, it will be in your user public documents. But if you're using Vault or you've already configured your project file to use a network location, that will <clears throat> definitely be located wherever this path is. And so you want to come here to figure out which path it is. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over into uh, Windows. I already have this located. And so here is the general path. So again, if I look up here, maybe I'll slide this over a touch. In this case, it's C, Users, Public, Public Documents. Autodesk, Inventor, whichever version you're using. I'm doing this video in 2023. The design data, then an XLS folder, then the ENUS folder. So if you look at that as a folder string, it is quite the journey. But that will bring you to two spreadsheets, clearance, which is what we're going to look at today, or threads, which is if you're looking at uh, taper taps or the regular tapped holes, machine threading, the different spreadsheets manage different aspects of the whole command, but the principles are kind of the same. So we're gonna mod the clearance spreadsheet and a really good practice because you don't wanna goof this up is you'll make a copy of it and paste it in here. And I like to date stamp mine so that I know exactly what the date is. So I know which is the most current or when there was a backup, so. Uh, Oh, that does not. There we go. Not sure what happened there. There we go. 2023, 08, and today happens to be the 18th. So now we've got a backup, and we'll launch this one. So let's take a second here to launch. <clears throat> and you'll have different tabs that, depending on which standard you're manipulating, if you're doing metric, the German, you know, different standards here. I'm just going to do the ANSI Unified Threads. And it's quite a long table because it's broken up by the different classes. So what type of fastener and the size. So in this case, I am going to come down here to socket head. I'm doing the quarter inch and out of the gate, if it's easier to see, you can just hit this row. That depth of the counter bore is 0.25. Well, I want that to go a little bit further. So I'll change that to 270, right, or 0.27 and then we'd save that. So what happens now is, and I recommend you shut down Inventor when you've made a change to the spreadsheet, relaunch it, and then we'll be able to take a look at <clears throat> how that whole feature now changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my Inventor. 
Uh, also, you want to close the spreadsheet, and then we'll talk about how that works. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, so back inside of Inventor after the restart, I'm back to the <clears throat> excuse me the counterbore plate, and I'm going to right click and edit this feature. And you're like, awesome, Pete, it didn't change. Well, if we toggle it, this is a way to reset it. I'll just toggle to the 5 16th size, and then right away toggle back to the quarter. You'll now see that the default sizing has switched to 0.270. So that's the idea by editing that spreadsheet. Now any new hole that we generate will take on those characteristics. So go ahead and hit OK. That's the new standard. If we go back to the assembly, you can see that it is indeed added that new value. I go ahead and update that. And sometimes the bolted connection doesn't update, so you have to just right click on it edit it using the design accelerator. Now I'm using the buy hole method, which makes it really nice because it noted that the hole is already updated. So all I have to do is hit OK. And there you can see that that also embeds the fastener more deeply into the plane. So this is a, another method. You can update that spreadsheet. This will update it globally for everybody that's using that project file. So be careful. And you also want to make sure that you have a backup copy of it in case something doesn't go well. You always have the previous version to fall back on. So another method to accomplish this goal with bolted connection. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.